Good evening, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update on the Saturday, September 9th. Now tracking four areas in the tropics, Hurricane Lee and Tropical Storm Margo. We've been talking about those over the past several days, but now tracking a tropical low and a new tropical wave is expected to move off the west coast of Africa. First, we'll talk about Hurricane Lee, 115 mile per hour winds. It's as of the 4 p.m. advisory on Saturday, Category 3 hurricane it has weakened. From its Category 5 strength, early Friday morning it had 165 mile per hour winds, but shear out of the southwest has actually caused this to weaken over time. But it's expected to strengthen just a bit over the next few days as it encounters less shear in portions of the western Atlantic, then take a turn to the north. Still, dangerous beach conditions will be felt along these Caribbean islands, as well as the east coast of the United States. So that's something to still keep in mind, even though this will move to the north and be offshore of the east coast of the U.S. Still, the Canadian maritime provinces will soon need to keep a close eye on this as this moves off to the north, because we still could see some impacts in terms of dangerous beach conditions, at least there. Tropical storm Margo, 45 mile per hour winds, 1,004 millibars of the current pressure, as, as the 4 p.m. advisory expected to move off to the north, meander in the Atlantic, eventually strengthening into a Category 1 hurricane by Tuesday of next week as of the current track from the National Hurricane Center, but again, well off into the Atlantic, no threat to the United States. Two new areas to watch. One is a tropical wave expected to move off the west coast of Africa. That yellow X right there is that tropical wave expected to move off the west coast of Africa, move off to the west, then west-northwest. And we could see some slow development over time. It's moving into that prime development region for tropical activity. So something to watch over the next several days, but right now a low chance of development over the next seven days. Another is an area of low pressure. Again, could become something weak tropical over the next several days, but right now a very low chance of formation. And we're getting close to the peak of the hurricane season, actually only one day away now. September 10th is the peak of the hurricane season, so it's not uncommon to see a lot of activity. And when we have a lot of activity, you need a way to track it. That's why we have the Hurricane Map Room. Go to the Weather tab and click on Hurricane Map Room. You can view all the latest tracks on any active storms and any possible developments in the long term in the tropical Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.